Beer, beer Guys. guys. Welcome to another episode of the NC Beer Buzz. We, we love working in our own backyard. I'd rather have to get out of my yard at all to come here today. We're on East Cedar Street, 202 would be exact, in Cary. And we're here at the soon to be brand new uh, Bond Brothers Beer Company. And we're here with one of the Bond Brothers themselves, this is Jay. And Hello. the other guy had to work today or something else. He's working, doing a real job, maybe. Yeah, he's. Yeah. And we're back with one of the partners. There's four partners here at Bond Brothers. And Which Wit's going to be the brew master, and Jay's going to be the everyday brewer. We'll say it that way. All right. The other guy's going to do the business part and the other part of the business. So thanks for having us in. It's great to be here. We're so excited to have something so close again. We were like real excited before Fortnite opened, and now you guys are here. It's going to be great for us. So we love it. Cool. Yeah. So let's talk about. Thanks for having us in that already, I think. Yes. Um, how Bond Brothers came to be. You are the Bond Brother. And you must have been brewing. You guys have been brewing together while we know you from home brewing circle. Yeah, absolutely. So we started brewing. Actually, so every beer you've had from me has been brewed at the Bond's house. Okay. Okay. Um, so we were we've been brewing like as a homebrew team, um, basically since we started home brewing. Uh, me and Jeremy, the twin who's not here, uh, started brewing about six years ago. You guys are local or been brewing together here in town? Yeah, in town. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we brewed like ten gallons at a time, um, and then we started t entering competitions and going to. Uh, uh, homebrew competitions, mm -hmm. the uh, People's Choice stuff, yeah. and uh, yeah, we decided to open a brewery after that. After that, was it was it always kind of dream that it might grow into being this, or was it kind of at first just for the sake of homebrewing into beer and the enjoyment, the camaraderie, or was it kind of was there more planning to it than that? Uh, there was more planning, maybe about uh, six months before we got uh, got a uh, look at this place, basically. And uh, once we saw this place in Cary, we moved forward immediately on it. So, right. Yeah. So you say this place now. Give us a time and place, a context. What used to be here for these guys who know Cary? We're just uh, one block off of Chatham. Uh, right around the corner from the pharmacy, uh, Ball and Beer. Yes. Uh, right down the street from Police Station, Town Hall. I mean, we're right here in the middle of Cary, although people don't get actually down on Cedar Street. We're across the railroad track from Page Walker. That kind of gives you a place. But what was in this building? Yeah, so this used to be a uh, rug warehouse. Okay. Um, so it was a rug warehouse, um, and the landlords are kind of starting a downtown Cary revitalization. And one of the things that this area they wanted to do was have a brewery here. Um, so I think there were a couple of the breweries looking at this spot too, and uh, we kind of just showed up and brought a bunch of beer, and they were like, "We're interested if you guys are," and Great. it worked out. Yeah. So there's going to be some other things going on in the location, in the vicinity, or some other development coming up. Yeah. So actually, across the uh, outside, out of frame over there, there's going to be a parking lot. Um, right across the street from our beer garden, which is that area right there, um, and then we're gonna have an, they're gonna have an office building over there, a restaurant next to us over here, and they're working their way down the road up to the other traffic. It's part over. of a project called Midtown Square. Oh yeah. So there you go. they're actually renovating this entire okay. facility. And Midtown Square will open up onto Chatham. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're kind of going to back of Midtown Square. Mm -hmm. And it'll be a breezeway that actually connects us to Chatham. Nice. Yeah. Good. So that'll come great. That'd be great, and you kind of will be the uh, the anchor of that whole complex. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're like I think we're the phase one of the uh, Midtown Square project. So yeah. yeah, cool. So we see all our beautiful equipment behind us. Describe mm -hmm. the system. What are we brewing on? Sure. Yeah, we have a uh, Atlantic Brew Supply um, ten barrel combo brew house. So we have uh, the combo mash tun um, hot liquor tank there. We have an additional additional hot liquor tank to the other vessel over there with a the ladder in front of it. Mm -hmm. That's our boil pots. Um, we got our heat exchanger there. Um, we have two 10 barrel fermenters and a 10 barrel bright tank over there. Um, two 20 barrel fermenters and a 20 barrel bright tank over on that side. Um, and then we have our glycol pipe. The white pipe there is our auger. Um, that's going to take the grain from the mill room over there to the mash tun. Um, one cool thing is that you can't is off screen is we have two tankless water heaters, so we can get water up to 185 degrees on demand. So that's very useful for brewing. Yeah, you have to start three hours ahead of the warm We do not. Yeah, so that's something we're really excited about. Sure. Um, and then now, we have you designed the system. I know you said my Bridge Supply helped you, and you just where you procured the stuff from. But was it kind of your vision? And you no, know, they, so they made it really easy. I said I requested a, a 10 barrel brew house, and they basically. Handed, it had, handed us a ten barrel brew house. Yep. yep. And long you wrote the checks, they were happy. <laughs> yep, basically. So what we're opening up, let's say we'll have three quarters of a year production. What do we have to do this year, production? 
Oh, oh production wise? wise? Oh. Uh, well, I mean, we hope to do as much as we can. Uh, okay. So, what's this allowing you to do? Well, you got to have some projections. You've got some idea of what you're hoping to put out the door this first year. We do, yes. Um, so, we have like this many tanks and some sour beer coming out. We do have 40, 40 uh, wine barrels as well. Yeah. Now, we are going to kind of focus, or at least from the press, mm -hmm. I did a little bit of homework. You hope to focus on some sour stuff, is that right? Or yeah, that so we'll be doing, doing some kettle sours that should be on. You've not always focused on sours in your brewing history. Oh, no, no, we have. We yeah, have. They just don't come out great. Like, so, like, okay. at the home brew events, we'll bring like one or two, maybe usually one. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think, so cast for a cure, I don't think we ever brought any. But um, they're so uh, infrequent that uh, you might not have seen them, but we're hoping to have enough volume here with the 40 barrels, and we have some. Um, Tankless wine tanks to make sours and stainless steel too. So that might differentiate you from some of the other local brewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah we don't have program itself. So the the, the long term sour program uh, isn't done obviously for like a year or so because those are going to be uh, barrel aged. The cool part is that's different than what a lot of other people are doing around here is we're doing primary fermentation in the barrels. Um, so. Uh, we're, we're taking, taking the, the wort from the boil pots and then putting it straight into a barrel with the, uh, the bacteria and the wild yeast and letting it just ferment all the way in the barrel. Yep. So it's going to be all fermentation, primary, um, not really any secondary is going to happen in the barrel. And then you pull it out and you blend it? We'll pull it out, we'll blend it. Um, we do have a program where we're going to get local uh, beer guys to help blend. So we're going to have local people on the beer, uh, blending panel every time. So. For each blend, we're going to do a light beer, uh, amber beer, and a dark beer base for the uh, sour beer in the barrels. And uh, one thing it's going to showcase is like different base malts. So the light beer is, you know, two row and wheat. Um, the amber beer is Vienna malt, and then the dark beer is uh, Maris Otter. So that's something else that's unique. All right. Yeah. So we're looking at April second grand opening, mm -hmm. and the tap room, which we're in the tap area here now. Uh, it's going to be open what kind of hours, day and night? How can people enjoy the Vine Rose? Seven days a week. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be open every day, every day of the week. Um, uh, we don't have exact hours yet, uh, but definitely we'll be open. Uh, Roughly mid-afternoon to 8 or 9 at night. We'll stay open as long as people are here. Uh, on the weekends, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, some of the weekdays will open mid-afternoon, some of the weekdays, but yeah, definitely you said there will be indoor that tap space, of course, but there will also be a beer garden. There will be, yes. And so the beer garden will have a uh, sheltered area over in the corner um, so that you can hope, basically use it all year round um, when we have heated, uh, heated lamps out there. So. That'll basic, the beer garden will basically double our capacity. Their capacity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. So that'll be cool. But yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, I mean, we're hoping, hoping to do as many barrels as we can in the first year. Um, I don't know if to put like a projection out there, just, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so. And as far as the brand and the mm -hmm. beer availability, for now, they'll have to come in here and get the beer. Actually, we're going to be distributing pretty much the same. Okay, that's what I'm yeah, going to so, Are you going to have local accounts from the get-go? We will, yes. Yeah. No, no, we'll have a lot. We'll have local accounts. We're going to try to sell as much as we can and carry before we branch out. Sure. Um, but we're going to have local. Uh, there are a bunch of the local businesses have expressed uh, interest in. Because like they want the local product. Exactly. Local product. Yeah, yeah. So they've expressed interest in having a, a tap handle from us, and uh, as well as. That's right. They're yeah. coming forward. Uh, I mean, it helps you do the sales job already. Yeah. yeah. Coming to you saying we want it. Uh -huh. How can you not try to yeah. provide me? Exactly. Yeah. And then um, some local bottle shops in the Triangle have also expressed interest in um, buying uh, kegs as well. So. Draft. And yep. all, all in draft for a while yet. Yeah, well, we hope to get a crowd machine pretty soon. And then at that point, uh, one or two bottle shops have also expressed carrying our crowlers there. So we might do some uh, small runs of crowlers mm -hmm. to sell to them too. Great. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So having brewed together for a while and mm -hmm. kind of had a dream for a while and then it's coming to fruition, what does it all feel like now that it's virtually happened? But no. Still, can you hardly believe? Yeah, no, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, we definitely, so I mean, for us, the part that we like has happened. We have brewed. So we have brewed. We have, we have, we have brewed like eight times so far. Um, we're about to start our kettle sour program, which is the uh, somewhat, it will be on as soon as we grand open, we'll have kettle sour available. Um, that's kind of like a quicker way to uh, sour stuff, like a blender vice. Um, and so we'll have that from the get go, and we'll be doing uh, several iterations of that in. Like a amber uh, kind of kettle sour beer and a dark kettle sour beer, um, and then dry hop it and stuff like that. But yeah, so we'll have uh, various types of uh, quick sours as well as the barrel stuff on whenever that gets done. So let me pick up on that. Just mm -hmm. one minute. I'm sorry. You talk about 
the fun part, part for you guys is the brewing. That's yes. what you kind of come to this endeavor already knowing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to learn the system and get the brewing done, but that'll mm-hmm. come. Yeah. So is the challenge going to be the business side and the PR side and the HR side and all the stuff that kind of, for you guys, may not be the fun part? Is that the challenge? Well, well actually, one, one of our partners is, is also a local businessman, so we have that pretty well covered as well. We, we do. do. Yes. Yeah. We have a strong four-man team. So right. Everyone kind of has. And while we're talking brewing, they are just as excited about the other pieces of the business. Yes. Yes. They are yes. Yes. doing the other parts. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's great. So that must feel good as brewers. Oh, it's great. You don't yeah, have to worry about the other pieces of what might not be so attractive to you guys. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's one thing that's awesome. Like, so for me, I really get to focus on brewing and making sure the recipes are perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, and then and the, you're more day to day. And I, I'm more mechanical side of things. Mm-hmm. Making so, sure it happens yeah. on his vision, maybe. What, yeah, one thing that was amazing was Jay actually installed our boiler system and got it approved. So not only was it a huge savings to not have to pay somebody to install our boiler. Right, no contract now for Yeah, that. it's yeah. also really complicated. I couldn't have done that, so mm-hmm. Jay was, so we all, yeah. yeah. we all have our roles. And he'll be around to prepare. Exactly. That's, 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 that's exactly yeah. why we did it. And he yeah. knows, I'll put it in that way. So yeah. I should go back together. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Whatever. So yeah, and he installed the glycol. Yeah, exactly. That's true, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, and he installed the glycol as well, so. Which is, I think it's important to know your system. Mm-hmm. So. And sure, we, and you can't know it any more than yeah, doing building. Yeah, yeah. We definitely know our system, so. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Again, thanks so much for having us in. We're very excited. We wish you all luck in the world to the Bonnie Brothers Beer Company here at 202 East Cedar Street in Cary. And they're going to be one of my local hangouts, I can just tell you already. (laughs) So until next time, this is David Glenn for NC Beer Guys. Another episode of NC Beer Buzz. Remind you to drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.